Hello and welcome to the 36 video in this series of programming videos looking at a chess engine in C. So this will be the last video on the move generation and we've actually got the simplest video of all because we simply need to substitute these statements where we've printed out that we're going to be making a move with the actual functions to store the moves in the move list. The first thing I'm going to do is here in the slide pieces loop I'm going to take out the text that we've printed out saying when we'd found a piece when we were just having a look earlier at uh, what moves were being generated and then I'm going to scroll back up to the castling moves and I'm simply going to replace and I've prepared the code here printed text here with an add quiet move and the move is from E1 to G1 we're not capturing we're not promoting and we've got the castling flag and likewise for the queenside castling it's e1 to c1 and we can paste this into the black kingside castling which is e8 to g8 and we can paste this into the black queenside castling which is e8 to c8 and now we can scroll down here, sorry I'll go back up there, that was just changed to C8 and now we can scroll down to the sliding pieces and we're doing a very similar thing. We'll be adding a capture move in place of printing that we want to add a capture move and the move will be from square to target square, T underscore square. The captured piece will be the piece at target square in our position no promotion, empty and no particular flag and we can take this capture move here and paste the identical thing in in the place of it in the non-sliding pieces here and I'll just delete the tab and make that go backwards and then the last but not least we add in the two quiet move additions instead of this print line here so again square to T square nothing captured nothing promoted and at the bottom here on line 285 exactly the same and save so if I go into vice.c I've added a position in here in the still with the name castle 2 and I know this position is a tricky position and I also happen to know that it generates 48 legal moves so if I bring up arena this is what the position looks like and I'm just now going to make and hold my breath it makes and run vice and we can see that indeed it's generated 48 moves so I won't go through them all move by move you can do this yourself to check but it can be fairly confident that I would say 90% of our move generator is working okay the next steps are to write a function that makes a move and takes back a move and once we've done that we can actually start implementing the first milestone of the engine which is the perf testing which is we do a successive number of make and unmakes to certain depths in a tree and check whether we're getting the right node count that we should be so that we can verify that the move generation is all working bug free so that's it for this video and for the move generation I hope it's relatively error free experience tells me I will find something when it comes to the first perf testing that I've made there's an error inside here but for a first effort, all seems reasonably all right. And the next video, we'll get on with the make move function. Thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.